Hi, this is Mato. Welcome to my online chess lecture. In this video, I will show you a game between John Shelton and Paul Morphy. This very beautiful chess game was played in New York in 1857. John Shelton had white pieces and he started with e4. Paul Morphy played e5. f4, the king's gambit. Very popular move in those days. Black to move. What would Paul Morphy play? against the king's gambit. Paul Morphy played d5, the Falkbier counter gambit. e takes on d5, e4, knight to c3 attacking the pawn, knight to f6 defending, d3, bishop to b4 pinning the knight, bishop to d2 unpinning, black to move, how would you continue? Paul Morphy played e3 sacrificing the pawn. Bishop takes on e3 and Morphy castled king's side. White is two pawns up, but black is a good development and a safer king. The game continued. Bishop to d2 unpinning. Black to move. Bishop takes knight on c3. Why did Paul Morphy play this move? Well, the white knight, which was on c3, was the white's best placed piece. That is why. Pawn takes bishop, rook to e8 check, bishop to e2, bishop to g4, c4 defending the pawn on d5, c6, d takes on c6, knight takes on c6. White's center looks less impressive now. Black developed one more piece and the knight is ready to jump to d4. White has a difficult game. If knight to f3, then bishop takes on f3, and after g takes on f3, knight to d4 is lethal. Back to our game. So, Shalton played king to f1, unpinning. Now threatening bishop takes bishop on g4, black to move. What would you do in this position if you had black pieces? Please pause and find the best move for black. Did you pause? What did you find? Did you find this amazing move? Kaboom! Rook takes bishop, the exchange sacrifice. What a move! Knight takes rook. And now knight to d4, and white is already lost. Queen to b1. Bishop takes on e2, check. King to f2. Knight to g4, check. King to g1. Is the king safe on g1? How would you continue in this position if you had black pieces? Paul Morphy played this very beautiful move. Knight to f3, check, clearing the d4 square for the black queen. White must take, pawn takes knight. Queen to d4, check, king to g2. Queen to f2, check, King to h3, queen takes on f3 check, king to h4, knight to h6, black is threatening queen to g4 checkmate. Queen to g1, preventing queen to g4 checkmate, but now comes knight to f5 check. King to g5, white to move and to checkmate in one, and the move is queen to h5 checkmate. That was Annihilation of the king's gambit. What do you think of this game? And that is all. I hope that you enjoyed watching this video. I wish you good luck with your chess and bye for now.